Shortly after graduating, I got a job in what is known as the semiconductor industry. This industry is responsible for the design, validation, characterization, and testing of electronic chips. Electronic chips are used in all consumer electronics and are designed to serve a specific purpose. For example, let's say that you want to send a picture to your friend. How does your cell phone actually do it? Well, a picture first has to be captured. To accomplish this, there exists a device known as an image sensor. This device captures light and essentially stores bits representing colors in an XY coordinate. These bits are then read by a different chip known as a processor and stored into memory. When it's time to send a picture, the processor will package the bits and send them out as a changing voltage with a device known as a digital to analog converter, which converts the bits into an analog signal. The analog signal then goes into a device known as a modulator that basically packages the signal into a carrier signal to facilitate the transmission by controlling the frequency so it does not interact with other signals that might be in the same frequency range. It then proceeds into a device known as an amplifier that will increase the signal strength and finally gets transmitted via the antenna. As you can see, just to transmit a picture, at least six different devices are used, each in charge of performing a specific task. Disclaimer, with newer phones year by year, a lot of these devices are integrated into only one device to save internal space, but we'll keep them separate in this video for simplicity and ease of understanding. To ensure that these devices will work properly once they are on your cell phone or tablet or whatever other consumer product you might have, the design and performance of the chip has to be measured. Similar to how when you want to buy a car, you look at the horsepower, the torque, MPG, number of seats, maybe doors. An electronic chip has its own parameters that define its performance and ease of use, known as specifications or specs for short. These specs will vary depending on what kind of device you have. Similar to how a Lamborghini will focus on 0 to 60 times and a truck will focus on its max load. Now let's dive into the exact part of the industry that I work in to better understand what it is that I actually do. As I mentioned before, the industry is responsible for the design, validation, characterization, and final testing of electronic chips. I just happen to get a job in the division that is in charge of characterizing and testing all these electronic chips. In a nutshell, characterization is testing performance over some given parameter to ensure the device will work in different environments. As an example, let's say that you wanted to find the condition where you can run your fastest mile. Well, to do this, you would have to run the mile several times with controlled conditions such as temperature, running shoes, hours slept, incline, and even the time of the day. In the same manner, integrated chips, or ICs for short, are tested over many different conditions like temperature, voltage levels, current load, and even the manufacturing process. And this is where I come in. I'm in charge of designing and developing the required software and hardware to characterize and test these electronic chips to ensure that when they get to the palm of your hand, they work properly. If you're interested in what I mean by designing and developing the hardware and software, please watch part two, which I'll leave in the description below. Also, if you have any more questions, please leave a comment and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more videos.